hello welcome back to my channel in today's video i am going to be showing you how to estimate your one year sales volume your revenue your profitability and profit margin um, for the tony lumelu entrepreneurship program specifically and any other business you want to be calculating on when you're doing your business plan how to calculate your any of these numbers or figures um, that is showing here your sales volume your revenue your profitability and your profit margin so this video is going to show you how you um, um, how you're going to arrive at these numbers right step by step now this is going to be also practical you're going to watch me do one do this um this do this whole estimation for one for one of the businesses i'm going to be showing you so and if you want to get me, you want to watch me do this, you want to, because I believe that way you will be able to you will ask me a little more than just me telling you how to do it. So, but if you see me do it, then we're going to be able to work together to be able, you'll be able to comprehend more. So, if you want to um, get the value from this, you want to watch me do this, you want to see how I'm going to, you know, move this thing from numbers to figures, sorry. And then convert to dollars and then paste it how i arrange it in the business summary template you want to stay and watch this video till the end hi welcome to my channel um if you're new to this channel this is ono hagebra and i make videos that help people navigate through the process of business starting up and making money online so anything business and um, digital marketing make money online and make videos around them in this channel so if you're interested in any of these topics kindly click, click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you'll be the first to know each time I release a new video that said let's head straight to what the business of today is now to be able to do this I'm going to be needing a lot of tools one of the tools is the calculator. Here is the calculator we have here. Then I have a Word um, document. I have the business summary template here. And then I have a, a draft work I already do. So I'm gonna, but I'm going to show you how to do this. And these are the tools we are going to be needing, you know, to be able to do this. So you need a worksheet, a, a place where you draft your work, which is um, this place I have here. And then you need a place, you know, your business summary template of course or of course if you're doing this for your business plan this may not be applicable okay all right so let's get back to the work so let's start step one so the first step you want to do is to estimate or determine the price average price of your um your product or service now this is the most fundamental one right you want to determine the price of your product if you are already in business and um, you should have an idea what your price is so you're going to use factors to determine what your price should be and it is good that you project because we are doing a one-year plan so you may not want to use the inflation rate especially in nigeria a currently very high so depending on what you're selling you should understand your market already so that's why i use the word determine so you want to put one or two figures factors around and then be able to know exactly what suitable price you should come up with and if you are new if you are a new business um you want to also do some background work do some research and then before you come up with a price then that is why i use the word estimate so for you your own price is going to be an estimate because um, you really do not have a product that you're selling. So we'll say it's an estimate, estimated price. Now you're going to come up with, I already talked about this in a previous video. If you have several products, your price is going to be an average. All right. You're going to come up with an average price. And I've shown you how to do that in a previous video. Um, you can link that video. You can see the video. I, I will link that video to the description and I'll also put you will also see it at the top of um, this your screen right now if you want to go and check check it out but it's simply adding all the prices of your products there are several products or services 
and then dividing them by the number of products or services that you have so that's how you come out at an average price so if you have one product you're talking about price that is the price if you have more than one product you're talking about an average price which is and um, the price of all of them put together divided by the number of products that you have so that is it the first step is get your price estimate your price and get it right right okay so um let's go and do exactly before we go to the step two i, I believe i said this thing is going to be practical so let's come to my price so i've determined my average price for a product um, and i'm calling it a training service uh, assume it's a training service all right that's the product i want to use and um, a computer training service or whatever so i've determined the price and i have also let's assume the price is 5000 naira okay so the price of this product is 5000 naira and that's the usd part is 12.0 um two dollars zero four dollars for nigerian is five thousand naira. so i'm using currently so let's assume that that's the price i've come up with so that's the price of the product you determine the price of your product you estimate it and you come up with that right secondly the second step would be to determine the operational cost of your products or services so i think we are also going to need a notepad so so that I give you, I give a breakdown of how I arrived at operational cost. So operational cost is all the costs involved in the production of your product or service. All the costs directly involved in the production of your product or services. So typically, you, you're talking about stock. If you're selling um, items, you're talking about your raw materials. If you're producing anything, you're talking about your running cost if you are into service all the costs that are involved in running your cost you're also talking about your selling as in your selling cost the cost is cost involved in selling your product generally this this um, um this um, um term operational cost can also be called cost of sales most of the times in the accounting world they call it cost of sales but to enable you understand i call it operational cost so the, what it costs you to produce your product and be able to distribute and sell it. So all the costs involved from the time of initiation of production, including the raw materials, the services you use, labor, and at the point to the time you make a sale. So including the cost of advertising, including the cost of, um, what do you call it now? sale if you have to make a transportation to deliver for instance if you have a product your delivery the delivery delivery cost what it costs you to deliver is also going to be included in your operational cost so that is um, the operational cost for you and um, if i am to give you an example i'm going to launch a notepad let me quickly do that and show you so for this uh, my training service and um, don't mind my right oh not typing okay for this my training service that I price at um, 5,000 operational cost will include so operational cost will include let's say um, well I have to fuel a generator or pay for bills. So let's put everything as fuel. Um, I have fuel. I will put everything together. I have internet. If I'm selling this and I need internet, I have um, salary. That is wages. You have um, stationaries. Maybe when students graduate from my institution, I need to give them. Um, I need to give them I need to give them certificates and there has to be some documents too that they will sign or forms they will fill um, so let's put others there okay I also have advertising because I have to advertise to bring students right into my advertise so I have to advertise and other costs other costs maybe including calls 
um, or SMSs, SMSs that you send. And let's assume that all of this cost comes to 70,000 Naira per month. So that is my operational cost for um, the one service I am rendering. So I'm using one service. So assuming assume that that price is an average price. So let's make this a good this into perspective. This is 5,000 Naira. I hope you get my picture. So I've been able to get my operational cost. So this is my operational cost for um, the year. So let's go back to the class. So it says estimate and determine your operational cost for one month. So I have done that for one month. All right. So we continue and we say the next would be, which is almost the same thing as in step two, would be to calculate the operational cost for one year. So we have 70,000 Naira as the operational cost. So you multiplied 70,000 or your operational cost now by number of months involved in the period. So if you're doing for six months, you multiply by six. If you're doing for one year, you multiply by 12. If you're doing for two years, you multiply by 24. In this case, we are doing for two years. So you multiply it by, and for Tony Lumilu Foundation specifically, you, are, you give them your first year operational figure. So that's what you're supposed to be giving. So if we are to do that, let's use a calculator now. This is where the calculator comes in. So I say 70,000. 70,000 times 12. All right. So I have 840,000. So that's my annual operational cost so i go ahead um to look, go to my draft and i put my operational cost at this is my operational cost so i i have done the mathematics and i have arrived at a number which is um 70 sorry 800 and um 840,000 approximately approximately $2,022 but we are going to come to how we arrive at the dollar prices right now so that one is a, another case on its own so um, the next step is to determine the estimates or determine slash estimate the monthly sales volume for your product or services now you need to put in some thinking here in order to determine the, your sales volume the sales volume translates to the number of units of your product you're able to sell. You're able to sell in a month. And how do you come to this number? You just sit down for, for those who are in business already. You're already running a business. So you already know how much you make in a month. So this will not be a difficult work for you. So all you need to do is to put factors that are within you into consideration. And um, factors like reduction in purchases, so you don't want to overestimate so for those of you who are already in business now for you who is new in business there is little there is little you can do to be very accurate here you may not be very accurate all you need to do is to do your least possible number if i and what i mean by least possible number is that if i wake up today and say i want to sell my um training service all right if i wake up today and say i want to sell my training service how many people can I sell to? How many numbers can I sell in a day? All right. How many can I sell in a day? How many can I sell in a week? How many can I sell in a month? So you sit down. If you can sell one in a day, it means you can sell 30 in a month. Or the number of days you work. Remember, some people don't work on Sundays. All right. So if you don't work on Sundays, you put that into consideration. So if you can sell um, three in a week, it means you can sell six in two weeks, you can sell nine in three weeks, and you can sell 12 in a month, right? So that is all you need to do for it. So in this case, we assume that when we are selling um, 13, so that's the number we use. Remember, I am doing a demonstration while taking out on this course so we come back here and we say um, projected sales right now 
projected sales will now be um, 13. We have said we want to sell 13 units. So a total in a year, the sales volume will be 156. Because if we do 13 every month, multiply by 12, it will give us 156. So you do your own mathematics. How many units can you sell in a day? Multiply it by the number of days you work in a day in a, in a week and then multiply it by four to give you the number of um, um uh, then depending on the number of weeks you have in a year but then averagely four weeks in a year so you can multiply it by four you'll be able to get the number of um, um what do you call it units you can sell volume of your product that's the number of units of your product or service that you can sell within a month and if you get how many you can sell within a month you can then multiply it by um what do you call it by 12 to estimate how many you can sell in a year i hope that's correct so from your monthly own you can estimate your yearly own so our monthly own is 313 and we estimated that we can do um, um we can do 156 in a year right so we we'll continue to step four so your projected okay we already did that so you i already explained how you do how you ex come up to a year i just did that so you do your estimate multiply by 12 you do your estimate for a month multiply by 12 you get your estimate for a year i think that's simple as that so that's how you get your projected sales volume for the first year or for a year so that's how you do it so we'll go ahead to step five here you do a calculation you calculate your projected annual revenue for the first year so your annual revenue is how much money came into your business for that year and um, and and then that's it so you're going to use your average price and multiply by your monthly sales volume all right so your monthly sales volume multiply by your average price then you multiply it by 12 be able to get your annual um projected annual revenue let's go ahead and do that now with the number we have we say we are making 13 sales in a month so 13 all right times our price is eight thousand bits okay sorry that price should be eight thousand How much did we put? Let me be very sure. Okay, 5,000. So let's go ahead and do 5,000. Cancel this. 5,000 times 13. That will give you, uh, I, think, I, I think I made a mistake. So this thing should be 8,000. Pardon me, pardon me. We'll do all the, these things do all the work I will do all the correction so this should be 8,000 I just remember after I did some mathematics this should be 8,000 and that will give us this volume this um, dollar unit but then we'll also do this that when we'll, we'll get to the point where we'll do the conversions again so nothing has quite here so that's that's 8,000 so if you multiply this 8,000 that's of course that's the unit price of your training or the unit price of your product whatever it is by 13 so we'll get uh, this is the correct price you this is the correct number we'll get 104 this is your monthly revenue this is your estimated monthly revenue for the business we are um, estimating our monthly revenue would be um, again let me change this would be so come here and say monthly estimated monthly revenue will be equal to one hundred and four thousand. Now I'm I'm doing this in Naira. I hope those of you who are not Nigerians would understand that. Of course, that's the currency that is I can understand. But we are going to convert everything in in dollar to dollars, and the same process of conversion is what you're going to use. So do your own in your own currency. And when we do the conversion you'll also learn how to do the conversion i believe that's okay i hope that's okay by you so that that's it that's our volume so if we multiply this number by 12 if you multiply this by 12 
we will get our projected annual revenue and this is 1.248 million 1.248 million so we'll come here and say annual this is my calculation calculation um, this thing annual revenue will be equal to one two four eight right one two three so usually what you will do is go to your um your draft and then impute it there so um so projected annual revenue there's the number we will put there the annual revenue is what we we'll put in the projected revenue note that not the monthly on because while we are doing um the monthly is just as they are just tests to enable us achieve what we want to achieve so the month the projected revenue will now be what we have put there 100 and 1 million and the conversion gives us this number we're going to learn how to do the conversion um, quickly then you continue with your um, the next steps of calculating this making this calculation so the number six step six step is to calculate your profit for the first year so calculate your profit for the first year projected revenue the formula is here projected revenue minus projected operational cost remember we are using projected because it is in the future um, if you are doing we are doing a forward mathematics if you are doing a backward mathematics you would remove projected and use revenue and operational operational cost so if we do that mathematics for the one we are doing for this um so the revenue is already here remember our operational cost is let's check it out 800 and okay the annual one is 840 840,000 8 so per year remember so we already did that so what you will do is go to your use your calculator now this remove that 840 from this number so this number now minus 840123 all right 000 not 123 i'm just counting the zeros 840000 naira so what you will have is 408000 naira 408000 naira okay so we'll come here and we'll put it as a profit Profit is four zero eight zero 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 four zero eight zero zero zero. So that's the profit you get. Um, I hope you're following me. Follow me step by step. There is no rush in this thing. You need this mathematics. If you if I, if we rush it, you will miss some steps. So that's why if I explain one, I'll go and show you how to do it. I believe that way it's going to be more understandable and if you get lost within the way within the road just rewatch this video and you will, you will get um you get clearer each time you do all right so we'll go back to our drafts we'll go back to our drafts and we'll check the and we'll do the profit and input it here remember i already put this here i'm just showing you so but all you need to do is to put this thing and come and put it in this your draft i'm showing you this so that you follow the same system because if you you have a place where you do your rough work you have a place where you do the draft and then after the draft you're going to see what we're going to do with it so this is that so 408 and we have done the conversion it gave us this so we'll continue on how to do the calculation so we have we have, we have successfully gotten our profit we have known how much profit this business is going to make for us all right so the next step is to calculate your profit margin i believe that this is where a lot of people are having issues all right of course all the whole steps but this is where most questions are coming from and you need to be very at pay very very um, good attention here now so your profit margin oh this calculate this formula is wrong your profit margin is projected um sorry your profit your profit I'm, I'm giving you giving it to you now all right divided by your revenue 
divided by your revenue. We already calculated all of this. Alright, all of them multiplied by 100. So you can keep it in fraction. If you want to keep it in fraction, you will leave it like this. You will remove multiply by 100. If you want to keep it in fraction, so it will be 0. Point something, right? Because this profit is less than revenue, so you understand that mathematics um, concept. But usually it is in percentage. You can put it in percentage, you can put it in fraction, depending. But most of the times it is in percentage. That is why I will multiply by 100. So this is the formula you, you use. So let's go ahead and do just that. This is the profit here. Remember what our revenue was. 1,248,000. So you divide this by 1,248,000. Two four eight zero zero zero. Okay, so you get so this is the fraction 0 0.3 0 0.326. So you can you can approximate to 0 0.33 and you leave it as that. But the normal thing is the normal thing is to multiply by 100 and keep it in percentage. The 100 is meant to keep it in percentage. For when you multiply this number by 100, you will get 32.69%. So you can keep it at 32.7%, right? Or 33%, but 33 will be too much. So just keep it at 32.7%. Okay, so we we'll go ahead into our rough um, notepad and say our profit margin is profit margin is. 32.7% so remember to always do the percentage and then our draft we also indicate that our profit margin is 32.7% okay so that's um that's about that so this is how you calculate this so let's go ahead and see what the next step is when you have done this the step 7 is to convert all your numbers to dollars to convert all your numbers to dollars so and um, we're not going to be doing all of them because of time but i'm going to show you a simple way okay this is my facebook log done i'm just going to open a new tab and then we'll just come here and do naira to dollar i have done searched it several times so this is it you click on naira to dollar go to your distance so here you will see an already existing calculator that will enable you to calculate everything so let's do this one after the other okay so our which one should we start with let's start with this our training service our price is eight thousand so let's go ahead and find out how much eight thousand naira is in dollars so you go to you type eight thousand so the dollar equivalent is 19.26 19.26 so you come to your draft here and you say the okay you don't need to write it here go to your draft and do this one 19 point so i was wrong then 19.26 don't ignore don't leave this um uh, uh, all the fractions don't leave them if you leave them you miss the number the dollar different the difference between naira and dollar is so massive so even this dot dot this um fraction can represent a huge amount of money so don't ever leave that figure so when you're putting make sure if it is 19.01 put it 19.01 19.26 put 19.26 so what we have is 19.26 so go ahead and find out how much is um, this is our price convert everything to dollar so your annual 840,000 is the operational cost for the year so go ahead and convert 840 dollars sorry 840 naira to dollars 840 one two three so you have 22 2022.68 so 2022.68 all right so this is um you copy the 840 look at the dollars equivalent here 20 sorry two um 2022 right um 
0.68. Like I said, always carry the fractions, the, dec the numbers behind the, de the, point, the decimal place. Always carry them along in this calcul in your calculations. Okay? No, um, what do you call it? Approximation. Don't approximate with the dollar values. Don't approximate with the dollar values. Now, um, this is this is it. You do this for do the conversion to dollars for I've shown you how to do it very simple as you can see do it for the projected revenue do it for operational cost like we just did do it for the projected profit so these three figures do the conversion in dollars and of course do it for your price your price will be in dollars so you can present this in like this depending on the, size, the number of words or you can present them in dollar but you can present them in naira alone in your local currency alone no in dollar alone yes you can present in dollar alone maybe to save space but let's see if this number also matches the required numbers for the test so we're going to do the transfer okay but then that's the next step let's let me just show you so the next step after conversion is to present your results so and um, the table i've shown you is the style you should use i suggest you should use but it's optional you can use whatever style you choose but this is my most recommended a style for presentation exactly as it is as you can see i tried not to uh, make any make any funny changes now you need to know that you need to observe that i have used the same font century gothic which the tony Lumilu foundation uses let's go to the this thing and find out and also the size this font size is 11. So let's go to the document tony Lumilu brought and, and find out so i have always advised that please do not alter this file, this form, or this template too much. Just do your work outside of it, and then come here and paste. Simple as that. So if you if you check this font, the font here is 11. It's sorry, it's century gothic, and the size is 11. So that is exactly what we use. So for the prop pricing, you are asked to use not more than 20 words. So that is why you can see here in this my template, I have said average price per unit of training service now in this place you're going to use um, whatever the name of your product is use whatever the name of your product is you mustn't use training service let me highlight it oh this highlight is to make the nice thing. i want to highlight so that when you when you type you know that you should you should customize your own so i i decided to call this a training service so you can call it the name of your product um whether it is uh, data you're selling whatever it laptop whatever it is you're selling you put the name there so i said if i'm selling clothes i will say i will say the average price of um clothes is this you put the price there so just copy this it's as simple as this copy this one see that's how i copy okay and then come to the template here's the template highlight these ones delete delete you can use whatever way you want to delete or replace it with this so this is how what i want to use don't get confused by this you know how we did it don't get confused by this so this is it this is my submission now on pricing and then i go to profitability i'm going to read everything for you there so that you understand how i also did it so you do the projection by the way let's check words let's check number of words um of course everything has to be ticked off so if you highlight this if you highlight this all right i hope you can see this so we have 10 words we have 10 words so we are within so you can check at the bottom of my bottom left of this lap this figure you can see here here this is the number of words see only 10 so that's what it is so they said we should be used 20 so we are within the range we are within the we have not overstepped our borders so profitability this is how you present this is how i recommend that you present your profitability projected sales in the first year to target audience you can call the name of the target audience is 156 or you can just present it as 156 unit now present the unit if it is in kg if it is in um bags how the unit of your this is, like this this one is 
just the deceased unit so I decided to put just 156 so I can decide to say also unit but whatever you type be mindful of the word, um, word limit you have you can just use it projected sales volume or uh, sales volume in the first year is this so you need to so equivalent of 13 per month now this is giving more details to help the person judging reading this understand you but if it will take more time more space also remove but we're going to check in the end projected revenue you may not highlight this you may not highlight this do not highlight it anyway do not bold in it so just leave it at it like i have done now and okay, so projected revenue is this projected operational cost is this projected profit is this profit margin is this estimated profit margin i i, I believe you should use this estimated profit margin you should use this so so that's it your profit margin should be this may not be your exact profit margin don't copy this and i'll say remember i calculated it don't go and copy this some of you know how to, some people can please do not copy this calculate your own all right profit margin should be not more for 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 those who are doing uh, buying and selling trade profit margin is usually low between seven to ten percent but if you are into production and again those into services profit margin will be as high as this one sometimes up to 40 percent so that's it but the volume is usually low that's the truth like you can see for a whole year we're only doing 156 but because of this huge profit margin the person is also able to make so if he just increases the number of people he's bringing to the business he will make more profit but let's not bother you let me not bother you with this so this is how you copy this just copy this like this copy everything remember i can say i've not included the dollar rate you don't need to include the dollar rate that you use or maybe you can include it if you choose if you feel like just ask other people and see, see if, what if they will, they will include it so you replace this with this so you can see i've replaced this with this the spacing doesn't matter but what matters is the number of words so you go ahead and check how many is here is 39 words he said they said not more than 50 so you are still within the reach in this case so if you want to include that dollar this rate now you can go ahead and include it doesn't harm anybody but it just helps them understand so that if they are using a different dollar rate they understand your figures better so if you want to use that you can use that so that's exactly how to do this guys this is how to do this simple as that you can fill in your other details in this um, i hope you have gotten value from this video if you have please please subscribe to my channel i want to grow this community that's why i ask you to subscribe to my channel i have a lot of other content i mean that has to support businesses that i'm going to be posting on this page on this channel and um, in the coming months and years so if you want to learn more about businesses subscribe to this channel all right so i help like I, if you're in nigeria i i help you register your business whether it's a limited liability company or um, um or, or business name i help you do this if a Tony Lumilu Foundation needs you to submit this document. These are people who have helped to register their businesses in the past, in the few, last few months. Most of these, um, for instance, um, this one is was done in June, 2nd of June, this month. This month is June. When I'm doing this video, it's June of 2022. This one was done 23rd of May. That is the month before this, 23rd of May. And this one was done on the same 23rd of May. Remember, see that there are different businesses. I've hidden their information. So this one now is a business limited liability company. We also did it on the 4th of May. So you can do yours. I can help you do yours. I'm the best guy to do it for you. As long as I'm concerned, and the best person you can contact for this one on the 30th. So please, if you need, get in touch with me on this number. This is the price for a limited liability company, and it's a promo price for Tony Lumini Foundation, guys at it here for Tony Lumini Foundation guys only so for business name this is the price and I hope you enjoyed this video see you in the next video thank you